There's two things that are really important that I want you to remember off of the start. First of all, when you select your biome, which is what the island looks like off the beginning, the choice is permanent, at least for now, so it cannot be changed. And secondly, when we talk about prisms, they boost production, but they do not speed up time. Roo! So today, the Third Kingdom. This is a free-to-play game that does have different perks if you go out and purchase assets that are associated within the ecosystem. But for this season one, it's going to be super simple. So when you first get into the game, you will be presented your island. You will have to pick what biome you want to use. The default is grasslands, but if you go to a Tradeverse, which is one of the marketplaces for the assets you are able to pick a different one if you want to have this have a little bit of a different feel you'll notice on the bottom left there's all these different resources and a little yellow one at the top that says energy and the idea is that you are wanting to get energy for later on in the game as it's going to be used for collecting different resources now these resources are supposed to be mycelium potentially root tokens and other components that you would want it does feel that the episode one is is something that's kind of setting the floor. The more energy you have, the more efficient you'll be used within season two, which they are attempting to open the game up. I think overall having, <laughs> having a little bit more of a push around the game, as we've seen on the initial launch, there has been some hiccups with it. But some of the earliest things that you'll probably want to go out and do is get some kingdom coins. Now, traditionally, you would think, oh my goodness, 30,000 coins within the game, that's a lot. Currently, 100 root is about $2, so it gets you off and running. You'll initially start by building a stone quarry, and you will build it and start accumulating resources. The resources don't move too, too fast. However, with that said, you can speed up production by purchasing different prisms to put on your Surrealscape, which is just your island in the Third Kingdom. And each of them are for different components. So one of them will help with production on gems. One of them would help with production on ooze. And you are able to re-roll to be able to have a higher production boost. And when you go over to the lighthouse, you'll be able to see how it says your prestige level and how much you'll need on the bottom right, the cost. And you'll notice on mine, the costs are all different because I've added some of these prisms to different land slots, which actually increase the amount of resources that you'll need. So there's been a lot of questions of if the game is pay to win, etc. This, I think, is kind of their attempt at helping it so it's not super easy for people <laughs> with the other assets. But Obviously, there is a bonus if you do have those assets. Buildings take about five minutes to build. I've kind of just gone with the strategy of building what I need, waiting for that to accumulate. Once I've accumulated that specific resource, absolutely demolish everything and rebuild different structures that are producing assets that I need because every time that you prestige, which is the ultimate goal for this, you are going to have a reset of everything that's on the screen. And just to note, if you add a surreal scape, you get a production bonus. So if it's a one by one, it's plus 1%. 1 if it's a two by two, it's plus 2%, three by three, plus 3%, and four by four, well, it's plus 4%. And you get to utilize more prisms. So I recorded when I got to Prestige for the first time. It is neat to see how the game works. Friendly reminder as if you're really wanting to play for Season 2, the energy is going to be a huge factor. You cannot accumulate energy if you do not own any prisms. It looks like it's about 100 energy per prism per time that you Prestige. But as you Prestige... It seems the energy you accumulate, the amount of resources you need, all of that goes up. So keep that in mind if you are really serious about playing this game and going for those resources in episode two. Look at the prisms. Otherwise, this is a completely free to play game and I will let you enjoy the stage of prestiging. Thanks so much for watching.